So now that you are on your Gather dashboard, this will always be your jumping off point from when you log in. When your funeral home is first getting onboarded, you won't see any cases in your dashboard, but we will go over how to create a case shortly and you'll be creating cases in no time. Let's go through your dashboard from top to bottom to get you fully acquainted with where everything is. In the top left, you will see a three line menu button that houses different customizable sections in your Gather account. This will be accessible depending on your permissions. Please refer to any changes you must make regarding any of these categories with your location leader. In the top left corner, you will see a filter for pre-need, at-need, trade, and one-off filters. Click to check or uncheck any combination of these to show only the cases you want to see on your dashboard. To the right of this filter, you will see an active case count for all cases that have not been archived or deleted. Underneath your logo in the top center, you will see a navigation option for your dashboard, your gather whiteboard, and your reports. We are currently on the dashboard. Under reports, you can find a list of, of all cases, active, archived, and deleted. You can see all the helpers and Rolodex entries. Financial reports can also be found here for team members with the necessary permissions. In the top right corner of your dashboard, you will see a global search button. Global search allows you to search for individuals across all cases, informants, helpers, and Rolodex entries across all of your locations. When you first get started with Gather, you will see your initials at the top right corner, but you also have the option to upload a photo to your Gather profile. Clicking on your initials or your photo will allow you to be navigated to your personal settings. Underneath your settings is where you will find the option to log out on this device, which we have discussed in a previous video. In this view, you have the option to toggle between director and family view. This view also shows any pending assigned tasks and any scheduled events in Gather. At the bottom of this page, you will again have access to your global search button, a quick look at any handful of recent cases, and you can also create a case from here. Lastly, you can click out of this page to return to the dashboard. Below the global search button and just above the case card, you will see a quick lineup of who has been assigned to cases on your team. You can click on any of them to see the cases that that member has been assigned to. Returning to the left side of your dashboard, you can find another filter where you can search for any case by first name, last name, or case number. Just below that filter, you can see a create a new case button. In another video, we will cover how to create a new case and what everything means on the case card. Just below the create new case button, you will see a button for a one-off transaction. We will also be covering this in a future video. Below these buttons, you will see a toggle for a director view and family view. If your dashboard is visible in a situation where a family can see it, whether it's in office or during an arrangement, you can toggle on family view to hide sensitive information. Looking to the right side of your dashboard, just below your assigned team members, you will see a few more filters. You will see how many cases are currently loaded onto your dashboard. You will be able to view all cases, view all helpers, view Rolodex, and view my reports. All options will navigate you to the coinciding page under the reports tab. And now we've made it to the bottom of our dashboard. Here you will find notes, packets, memories, and belongings. Notes can be left on a case level or task level when completing or working on a task and will appear here in chronological order. A toggle at the top right of this section will allow you to filter to see notes from only families and helpers, excluding all staff notes. You can filter notes by case name only here at the top left. The Packets tab will house all of your signature packets for cases, allowing you to navigate to any packets you know might be pending easily. Memories can be moderated here, and we will cover this process in a future video. There are a few features that you probably noticed I didn't spend a lot of time on today, but these will either be covered in another session or belong to a feature that isn't included in your current subscription. Please contact your location leader or gather account manager with any questions. And lastly, on each page in Gather, there will be a little plus sign button at the bottom right corner wherever you go. Clicking here from the dashboard gives you another place to create a new case or use your global search. If you have any questions about this process, please feel free to reach out to our Gather support team at 
908-0488 or feel free to use our chat function. Bye.